Prayer to God the Father, from the book, The Father Speaks to His Children, Father of All Mankind, by Mother Eugenia Elisabetha Rabasio. The cover or the picture on the right is the authentic photograph of the picture painted at Eugenia Elisabetha Rabasio's request after the operation. Consecration to God the Father. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. If you have any holy water, please use it, if available, to make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Through him, with him, and in him, God is my Father, my Father in heaven, how sweet it is to know that you are my Father and that I am your child, especially when the skies of my soul are cloudy and my cross weighs more heavily. I feel the need to repeat to you Father, I believe in your love for me. Yes, I believe that you are a father to me at every moment of my life and that I am your child. I believe that you love me with an infinite love. I believe that you are watching over me night and day and that not a hair falls from my head without your permission. I believe that in your infinite wisdom, you know better than I what is good for me. I believe that in your infinite power, you can bring good even out of evil. I believe that in your infinite goodness, you make everything to the advantage of those who love you. Even under the hands of those who strike me, I kiss your hand which heals. I believe, but increase in me faith, hope, and love. Teach me always to see your love as my guide in every event of my life. Teach me to surrender myself to you like a baby in a mother's arms. Father, you know everything. You know, see everything. You know me better than I know myself. You can do everything and you love me. My Father, since it is your wish that we should always turn to you, I come with confidence to ask you together with Jesus and Mary the following petition. For having grieved you, O Heavenly Father, help us to do penance, to make restitution by repaying all our debts to you. And with a contrite heart, we, lo we long to never offend you again. For having disobeyed your commandments and failing to fulfill your teachings, forgive us for not persevering your, your word, not only for our, ourselves, but for future generations. Fill us with the Holy Spirit now, so as to enlighten us and change our ways to proceed along this narrow path to eternal salvation. For having ignored and rejected you, may you be known by all men. For having dishonored and desecrated you, may you be honored by all men. For having hated and blasphemed against you, may you be loved by all men. For this intention and uniting myself to their most sacred hearts, I offer you all my prayers, my sacrifices, and mortification, all my actions, and greater faithfulness to my duties. As part of this novena, we meditate on struggling relationships with someone dear to you, maybe someone at home, someone at work, at school, someone at church, or even someone you haven't thought of in a long while then offer by saying, I promise to be more generous, especially during this nine-day novena in a given circumstance to the person. Give me light and grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. Strengthen me in the spirit that I may never lose him, never sadden him, and never allow him to become weaker in me. My Father, 
I ask this in the name of Jesus, your son, and you, Jesus, open your heart and place it in it, my own, and together with Mary's, offer it to our Divine Father. Obtain for me the grace that I need. Divine Father, call all men to yourself. Let all the world proclaim your fatherly goodness and your divine mercy. Be a tender father to me and protect me wherever I am, like, a, like the apple of your eye. Make me always a worthy son or a daughter. Have mercy on me. Divine Father, sweet hope in our, of our soul, may you be known, honored, and loved by all men. Divine Father, infinite goodness poured out on all peoples, may you be known, honored, and loved by all men. Divine Father, beneficent Jew of human, humanity, may you be known, honored, and loved by all men. Amen. You receive partial indulgence if you do the nine daily novena. We now start with the chaplet of To God the Father. Dear God, our Father, I humbly ask that on my journey home to you, your holy angels will protect and guide me, that your blessed saints in heaven will intercede for me, and that your suffering souls in purgatory will pray for me as I pray for them now. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, my God and my Savior, you love me so much that you died for me on the cross, so that I could return to our Father in heaven. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Through your Holy Eucharist, please sustain me and be present with me on my journey home. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Spirit, my God and my sanctifier, you were sent by Jesus to help me on my journey to the Father. Please purify and refine me. Fill me with your divine light and love so that the presence of God may dwell in me. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Day one reflection. Adam and Eve's choice not to do the Father's will, their exile from the paradise he created for them, the story of the fall of man, the original sin. Let us meditate on Adam and Eve's choice not to do the Father's will, their exile from the paradise he created for them. The Father's promise that a woman, Ipsa, Mary, would one day triumph by crushing the head of the serpent that seduced them into disobedience. God our Father was with us at the beginning in paradise he created for us, the paradise of his divine will. Adam and Eve expelled from this paradise and denied God's intimate presence. However, our Father promised that the woman would defeat the evil that had caused the separation, the evil of saying no to God's will. Theme, praise. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. Glory to you, God my Father, you who made the universe and all that is in it. You who made the heavenly angels as well as the beasts, fishes, and birds of the earth. You who made me created in your image. I praise you, God my Father now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. The two theme is thanksgiving. Let us meditate on God, the Father's presence among us during the Old Testament times. God manifesting his presence with Moses in the burning bush. Although God's children were expelled from paradise by their choice not to do God's will, God never abandoned them. In the Old Testament times, he manifested his presence through his own voice in the world, words of his prophets, in the burning bush, in a pillar of smoke and fire, and in the Ark of the Covenant. After Jesus rescued his children from the bondage of Egypt, he requested that they celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles for eight days each year. Bless the soul, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Thank you, my dearest Father, for loving me into existence. Thank you for this body, mind, and soul that you fashioned especially for me. Thank you for the people and circumstances of my life. Thank you for opening my eyes, ears, and heart so that I may see, hear, and love you more. Thank you for taking me by the hand and leading me back home through all the dangers and difficulties of my life. Thank you for loving me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. Day three theme is offering. Let us meditate on Our Lady's yes to God's will and how she became a living tabernacle for the presence of Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity, Savior of God, our Father's children. Mary gave her yes when the angel Gabriel came to her and asked her to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary's triumphant yes, her fiat to God's will, and how she became the new ark, a living tabernacle for the newly manifested presence of God. Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity, Savior of God, our Father's children. The Holy Spirit came upon her and the power of God, our Father, overshadowed her. In saying yes to God's will, Mary, the woman, and her son, Jesus, mankind's Savior, who, with his mother's cooperation, would restore the exiled children of God to their father. And like living stones, be yourselves built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. 
You have given me everything, Father. You have given me yourself. What can I possibly offer you? Let me offer you the first fruits, the best fruits of all I do or receive. Let all your children offer themselves as the fruit of your tree of life, ripened on the sacrifices, sufferings, and crosses of their earthly journeys so that the worldwide effect of your children know. Meaning this darkness, discord, or this end disorder may be transformed and made new through your light and love. I raise my arms in offering to you, Father. Receive all you have given me into your paternal heart. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. Day four theme, repentance. We meditate on how God, the Father, sent Jesus in order to save us and bring us back home to him. Through his passion, death, and resurrection, Jesus defeated sin and exile from God. John 3, verse 6. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. My good Father, you are all loving, but you are also just. How can your children ever make reparation for all their sins? How can they ever hope to balance your scale of justice? Especially in these times, these times when so many of your children say no to you, these times when so many of your children reject your will, these times when so many of your children no longer believe in you, and even enthrone themselves as gods. These times when so many of your children embrace the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They have embraced the lie. They have embraced death. Shower us with your grace and mercy, Father. Cleanse us in your tears. Allow us to be compassionate warriors of your mercy on earth so that your sword of justice may be transformed into a loving means of your mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. 
infidelity. I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. Day five, inheritance. Let us meditate on how Jesus asked God the Father to send the Holy Spirit. In doing so, God could be with us in a new way, not only with us, but in us. The sending of the Holy Spirit, a newly manifestation of God, the third person of the Holy Trinity, the sending of the Holy Spirit. Before ascending to his Father, Jesus promised that he would not leave us orphans. He asked God, our Father, to send the Holy Spirit. In doing this, God could be present with us in a new way, not only with us, but in us. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. Fear is God, my Father, with awe and wonder. I have learned to praise you and all your creation. With sincere gratefulness, I have learned to thank you for your boundless generosity. With humility and love, I have learned to offer up to you all that you have given me. With a sorrowful but hopeful heart, I have learned to ask for your forgiveness and tender mercy. And now that I can fully appreciate that you exist, that you are God, that you created this entire universe, that you created me, I now learn that in addition to these wonders, you are truly my father and I am truly your child. How can my heart contain the excitement? I am not only your creature, but I am actually your child. You created me in your own image so that I could spend eternity with you. You love me that much. But even though you have told me this in Holy Scripture and through the teachings of the church, my ears have not heard the words. My heart was hardened. I had wandered far away from your voice, your heart, your love for me. But how the veil is lifted, the fog that has cleared. I see, I hear, I understand. You are truly my father, and I am truly your child. I'm your prodigal child, running back to you into your waiting arms. I'm coming home to you, my father, where I belong. Please hold me tightly to your heart and never let me go, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. The theme of day six is fiat, or saying yes to God, our Father. Let us all meditate on how we are all prodigal children of God, our Father. We can make the free will decision to return to our father's house. This means saying yes 
and turning away from our sinfulness and worldliness. As prodigal children of God, our Father, we are all given the opportunity to make a sincere, free will decision to return to our Father's house. This means deciding to turn away from our own sinfulness and convert or take back, turn back towards the presence of God, our Father. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. This is in Luke 1, verse 38. My Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Matthew 26, verse 39. My God, my good and loving God, please allow me the privilege of saying my yes to you. I say yes to you, Father, in all things. Not the conditional yes that involves doing only those things that are comfortable or easy. Not a conditional yes that means doing only those things that benefit me. No, I give you my yes in all things. Father, because I know you are pure love, and as pure love, you can transform all things. Doing your will can never hurt me. Doing your will can never harm me, harm another. Doing your will can never separate me from you. Doing your will can only bring about the rhythm and harmony of your will here on earth. Doing your will can only spread your light and love. Doing your will can only help me bring to you. Doing your will can only help me bring others to you. When I step inside your will, I'm dancing with you in the order, rhythm, and harmony of your divine will. When I step outside your will, I'm stumbling alone in the chaos, disorder, and discord of darkness. Let me listen to your gentle, loving voice beckoning me, inviting me into your divine will. I am your, yours, Lord. Do with me what you will, because I know that your will is love. Even when your will may seem painful or unfair, I know that your ways are not always man's ways. Only you can see the grand scheme of things. Only you know the whys of my crosses. But despite what may sometimes appear to be unjust, I trust you totally. Why? Because you are my father and you love me. You want only what is good for me. You want me to come home to you. There's nothing in heaven or on earth that I want more. So I say yes, Father. I say yes to you. I say yes to the rhythm and harmony of your divine will. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. Day seven, meditation on pledging your fidelity to God, our Father. What does it mean to be loyal and committed to God? Do you feel committed to returning to your father? Do you want to help others return to? What does it mean to be a gentle warrior? Of oh God, our father's love's mercy here on earth. Like St. Paul, when you die, will you feel as though you've fought a good fight? I have fought a good fight. 
I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. This was what St. Paul told Timoth in Timothy 4, verse 7. Dear Father, my love and my life, I pledge my faith, hope, and love as a precious gift, a promise of my unconditional fidelity to you. Know that I trust in your love for me. Give me the strength, courage, and perseverance to never doubt, never stray, and never despair. Please bless this vow and make of me a gentle warrior, battling the darkness with your sweet sword of love and mercy. As you will never abandon me, I pray I will never abandon you. Please press me tenderly to your heart and never let me go. In you, Father, I trust. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. The day of consecration, the final day of the eight-day consecration to God the Father. For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and move among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Dearest God, my Father, I call upon you to witness and participate in my solemn consecration to you. After seven days of preparation, I come to you now as one who is still learning how to know and love you, how to praise and thank you, how to offer up to you all the blessings and crosses you have given me, and how to ask for your forgiveness and mercy. I also come to you as a warrior, strong in my resolve to serve and honor you. But most importantly, I come to you as a wide, as a wide-eyed child filled with awe and wonder in the knowledge that I am truly your child and that you, creator of the vast universe, are truly my father. Although I have wandered far from you in my lifetime, I choose now to return for I long to be with you in your house forever. In your divine presence with full knowledge and free will, I consecrate to you on this day. I consecrate myself to you on this day. Like a small child, I approach you. I lay tenderly against your father's heart. And I ask that you hold me tightly and never let me go. Let me be a temple for you to dwell in, Father. And with the greatest love and tenderness, may I be your gentle and loyal companion, carrying you with me all the days of my life. May I bring you to my family and friends, to strangers I have yet to meet, so that they might also see your light and feel your tender love. When you dwell in us, there is a blessed connection between heaven and earth. May more and more of your children consecrate themselves to you. As Jesus taught us to pray, may thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into, my, into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In praise, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. 
In thanksgiving, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In offering, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In repentance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In my inheritance, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In saying my yes, fiat, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In fidelity, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. In consecration, I love you, Father, and I give myself to you. Litany to God, our Father. Father, first person of the most blessed Trinity, have mercy on us. Father of the only begotten Son, have mercy on us. Father and Son, from whom proceeds the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Father of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Father of her most chaste spouse, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God our Father, save eight people in Noah's Ark. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father, decree that all male babies be circumcised on the eighth day as a sign of his covenant with us. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father manifested himself to Moses and his children after they completed an eight-day period of consecration and offering to, to him. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, instituted the eight-day Feast of Tabernacles to remind his children that he was with them, loved them, and brought them out of the bondage of Egypt. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, accepted purification offerings from his children on the final eighth day of ritual cleansing. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, was glorified when David, the eighth son of Jesse, brought the Ark of the Covenant into the city of David amidst praises sang for the eight, for the oct eight octave upon harps. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, heard David's repentant cry, play on an eight-string harp. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, heard David's repentant cry, played on an eight-string harp. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God, our Father, filled the temple with his majesty and came to dwell with his children on the eighth day of Solomon's Feast of the Dedication. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. The presence of God, our Father, was to be approached by eight steps in the new temple envisioned by his prophet Ezekiel. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father was glorified when his defiled temple was purified and rededicated by the Maccabees during the eight-day feast of the dedication. God our Father made a new covenant with his children through Jesus, his son, who was circumcised on the eighth day. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father revealed his son Jesus during the transfiguration, eight days after Jesus fed the multitudes. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father was glorified when from Solomon's porch in the temple, on the eighth day feast of the dedication, his son Jesus revealed that he was consecrated to God our Father and that he and the Father were one. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father was glorified after his son Jesus rose from the dead on the eighth day of his week of passion and redemption for our sins. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. God our Father was glorified when Jesus showed his wounds to unbelieving Thomas eight days after his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O loving Father. Let us pray. Dearest God, our Father, let us know, love, and honor you through eight days of purification and dedication as you willed it throughout our salvation history. And may the holy octave of consecration to God, our Father, and its eight solemn days 
the feast of the father of all mankind, serve to bring all your children back home to you. May these be granted through your love and the love of Jesus, our God and Savior, the Holy Spirit, our God and Sanctifier, and Mary, our Mother. Amen. Closing prayer. There is God, our Father. I thank you. I love you. I adore you. I worship you. Amen. We give thanks and praise to our dear Father in our midst. God the Father said, I know your needs, your desires, and everything in your hearts. But how happy I would be if I saw you coming to me like a son who has total trust in his father. Our response, Father, I am coming home. Please take my hand and help me to sin no more. Father, I adore you. I love you and trust in you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.